We've been looking at this timeline of Uber's difficulties across your, Europe, whether it's London or France or Germany or the Netherlands or Denmark. They have had run-ins with the government in all of these places. You know, what is the impact sort of across the region of these choices that Uber has decided to make over the years? Well, I think London was one of the first uh, cities in the world outside the U.S. to adopt the technology, and uh, you know, it's reached a point where 3.5 million people are using the app. So it's been very well received. It's a great application, but there is obviously a lot of competition out there. You know, my taxi, cabby, uh, the black cabs themselves have actually introduced credit card systems into their cars finally. So that's a, been a positive move. Uh, so I think, but you'll get a lot, I think you'll see a lot of grumpy uh, customers if it's totally wiped out, which I don't think, I hope that won't be the case. I think, as uh, my fellow uh, colleagues uh, in, in, in New York and in, in the U.S. are saying just now, you know, let's hope that you know, this is, Uber will appeal this and it will continue to operate. And I just hope that uh, they'll come to some sort of uh, conclusion which will enable Uber to continue operating. You mentioned the black cabs. How much of a dent has Uber actually made in the historic London black cab business? I mean, I think I think they've been impacted. They've clearly felt uh, the impact themselves, and there's been many uh, protests in the streets. Uh, uh, nothing violent, uh, but actually, it's been it's been uh, uh, there have been sort of been on the streets a number of times. And Transport for London has been really trying to work this out. I think, you know, if you look at Transport for London, uh, it was one of the first uh, uh, urban mobility institutions in the world to actually open up its data sets and its APIs to allow you know, app developers to develop services on the back of the data being opened up. So they're very innovative. They're very forward looking when it comes to technology. And I think here, as we've been talking about, this is, they're really questioning the conduct of the company in, in connection with two or three things. So I would hope, again, I would hope that uh, uh, Uber and the Transport for London will, will resolve this over time. Uh, and, and we'll continue seeing Uber on London streets.